guys, so today we're going to be looking at the Chrome OS uh, and how to virtualize it. So first you need to go to this URL up at the top. Here, I'll zoom in for you. Alright. There you go. You need to go to HTTP uh, forward forward slash GDG dot com slash Google slash Chrome OS slash download. So yeah. Alright. I'll put a link to that in the sidebar. Uh, first, you'll come to a weird page that doesn't say Get OS Chrome, so you'll need to uh, sign in, and then you'll come to this page once you go to the link. Uh, you just need to click that link right there that I'm flashing my cursor over, and yeah. Okay. So, once you've downloaded that file, you'll get it in your downloads. Uh, VirtualBox, which is what I'm using, won't actually get it from download so you have to take it out of the downloads folder and put it on your desktop and it also may say it has an error if it does just do it again I'll probably get this error this time too but it, it, it's just it's fine alright so I'm gonna go over and open VirtualBox I had it uninstalled for a while and I installed it back so that's fine yeah, I have Windows 7 installed. So VirtualBox, if you don't know about it, it can virtualize pretty much any OS you want for free. It's by Sun. So, yeah. I'll put a link in the description on where to get that. Alright. Yeah, so then you're going to click you want to create new. So then you're just going to click next. Then I'm going to put Chrome OS 2 in the name. Uh, that's just because I already have one on there. Uh, then for the operating system, I'm gonna sel or yeah, I'm gonna select uh, Linux because Chrome OS is a distribution of Linux, and you can really do any distribution; it doesn't matter. But I just chose Ubuntu because it's based off of Ubuntu. I've also tried Linux 2.6; it works fine. Um, you might want to give it a gigabyte of memory, but if your computer's a little low, mine isn't. But I just decided to see what ha would happen if I give it 700 megs. All right, and then for here, you're gonna need to not get a new hard drive, just, uh, create a new virtual hard drive, but you're going to need to uh, use the existing one you just downloaded. So you're going to need to go to your desktop, click on it. Now you, this is the error I got earlier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and release the one I already have, which basically disconnects it from the virtual machine that I already have. And then I'm going to delete it. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then I'm just going to delete it. And I'm going to keep it because I know where the file is. So I don't want to delete that file. Then from there, yeah, I just select it and it should be fine. Then you press select. There you go. It's right in there. And now you click next. Yeah, make sure to click use existing hard drive. So yeah. Uh, this is the specs of your machine showing what you've created and everything. So, yeah, let's start it up and I'll show you how to how it works. Okay, so this is a pretty long process. So, yeah. Da 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 da. -da. Yeah. Sorry about this, guys. It's just, it has a lot of lag. Even when w with Windows 7 beta, there isn't this much lag. Uh, so, yeah. And I don't know why. I think it's just because it's a beta. There we go. And so, so then you're going to type in your Google password, but at this point, I think I need to stop and go make a new account because I totally spaced on this. So, see you then, guys. All right. Hey, guys. Back again. So, um, I got a new uh, Gmail, and this is also one you guys can send me stuff at. It's jakestechbox at gmail.com. Please, nothing bad, nothing, uh, nothing like that. Just if you have a tech question, you can ask me there, or you can YouTube message me, or go on f Twitter and message me. I don't really like to give away my personal Facebook, so, yeah. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, I'm just basically typing in the password. You have to have a Gmail account to log in. Um, you can't really set up a new account with uh, the Chrome OS. It's not like Windows where you just set up an account. You have to actually uh, have a Gmail. So, yeah.
yes, this is assuming that everybody that owns the Chrome OS already has a computer, so, oh well. Maybe in the future they'll add a functionality. Now, this is really laggy right now, so uh, we're just going to kind of wait. Um, let me tell you about this right now. So, you see how my mouse is out? Oh, well, it just crashed. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to go back real quick. Hold on. This is kind of... This has happened once before, and it's just kind of slow right now. I think it's just... It was loading, and I tried to make it go faster. I don't know. <laughs> but... It, remember, it is sharing all the components of my computer with my operating system, and my operating system is uh, has a higher priority than this on the uh, the CPU. So you have to remember, it's trying to run two operating systems. So yeah. All right, and then here we go. It just logged in automatically for some reason. Okay, so now it has Gmail open. Um, I don't really care if you guys see my messages. It's just from the Gmail team because I just created it. So yeah. Um, then we have Google Apps, we have Hulu even, it's pretty nice, uh, tasks, uh, just a bunch of different things, but they're all web apps, just to let you guys know, they're all web apps, so, yeah, here's Hulu, and it can play YouTube, it loads everything, it's, it has Flash and all that good stuff, so, yeah, the only bad thing is you can't load any components, really, Unless it's like a Word document or a video or music, you can download that stuff. Not from iTunes, because you can't download any programs. You can kind of create bookmarks to web apps, and that would kind of do it, but, you know. So, yeah. So, then we have the uh, menus up here. It's kind of weird. Uh, so, it's kind of like print. It's like the file menu you know, in Windows. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is how to try Chrome OS on your, uh, on your machine, on your Mac, uh, PC too. So, if you have any questions, please, uh, YouTube me, email me, uh, ask me a, a direct message me on Twitter. Just please, call, or, uh, or comment. Thanks. Bye.